So first and foremost is, this is where engineering puts people first, right? So we're concerned about worker health and safety, uh, along with all our other economic goals of productivity and progress. So we want to make sure that it does not have any unintended consequences on humans. We all do work in any workplace, so we want to minimize work-related injuries or we want to minimize any work-related hazards from their workplace. And as part of that effort, we are trying to firstly investigate what's happening in the workplace and secondly, figure out how to, yeah, how to improve the work conditions. The Center for Occupational Health and Safety Engineering is a very unique center on campus. Four different disciplines are represented in this, right? So it's industrial hygiene, occupational epidemiology, occupational health nursing, as well as occupational safety engineering. So it's a chance for engineers to work with students and faculty from all of the other disciplines. So it's a very exciting kind of center to be involved with because we're constantly learning new things about the other areas. So our students benefit from that um, cross-disciplinary interaction. And in the process, I think us faculty benefit from that too. The program has go above and beyond. They provide all what I need. So it's a really good resource to have, to have a network. So that's something really good about the program. It's about the connection that you get to know people, that something that you are not working right now, but probably in the, in the future you will want to consider to do so. Because we have so many researchers in this area, we also do have a lot of faculty who can teach various type of like different courses which is very unique compared to other institutions per se. So we have a lot of different various options for classes, research topics, and get just good feedback on their work. The biggest reason I would um, say that students need to be coming here in our program is that we're working on the forefront, the cutting edge of what work is going to look like in the future. And most of the work that we do is going to have some aspect of technology embedded in it. And even if the work is still, we might say, low tech, you will have higher level engineers managing and supervising that work to make sure that these down the line workers are safe and healthy. They're kind of going to anticipate how many workers they need, how much work can these workers manage to do. We've got wearable sensing technologies. As a manager or as a supervisor, you can get a pulse of what your workers are doing and what their health status is, right? And so these introduce some really exciting big data type challenges. It's natural that technology is gonna be a big part of that equation. Uh, if these kinds of new exciting problems um, are of interest to students, uh, but they wanna put it towards a, uh, or apply it towards um, a good noble cause of worker health and safety, then this is the place.